So I have a uh, four-year-old, and he went from being the sweet little cuddly kid that I had into what at one point felt like a psychopath. Uh, just out of nowhere, he got kicked out of daycare. He was fighting kid. Always just wanted to fight. It got really physical. We were at our wit's end. Um, and I was listening to your podcast and watching AEW. Uh, and just had wrestling on the mind uh, when this was going on a couple months ago. And I decided to show him wrestling and see if I can communicate what's play and what's not play. I, I wanted to show him how people do something badass and don't hurt each other uh, or try not to hurt each other and don't worry about winning or losing, how there's a story, all these values uh, and organized rough play and so i showed him your videos because i was like who's the most wholesome guy i know and uh it was you and so we watched a little bit of wrestling uh we played wrestling a little bit and it clicked i don't know he uh was into it and he really liked the idea of creating a story and doing something that looks awesome but uh you know doesn't hurt and since it's not like it was an immediate cure to the problem, but that was definitely a positive thing. And now he's just a sweet little kid again. So I don't know. His personality is super weird, but I like to think that wrestling made a violent kid less violent, showed him a better way to uh, express your inner man rage. Or boy rage in this instant. Oh, what a great call. You know what made me curious was what an actual therapist would think of this. I wonder... If it is good, I titled the story Wrestling Therapy because it just seems like professional wrestling is therapy for this child and helped him a little bit. And I wonder if a therapist would just be like, yeah, I don't know. You test out what a kid likes and doesn't like and you figure it out and you figure it out that this kind of helps a child calm down a little bit and it's worked. But I haven't gone through that schooling, so I wouldn't know. So that's why I'm interested. But I'm grateful. I feel it would always be the other way around. Like seeing wrestling would want to make a kid be rambunctious. I remember I remember bringing my buddy Aaron and Aaron brought his three kids to the New Japan USA show in Nashville and then all he told me afterwards was at home they were just jumping on each other nonstop. And he's like, my daughter is like the most chill kid ever. Now she's doing elbow drops off the top of the couch. So my first thought process is, ah, maybe not the best idea, but with the correct teacher, you, the dad explaining and implementing it's turned out to be a great tool in relaxing your child so that's so nice to hear i feel a little pride as a wrestler and i feel a little pride as someone who's been probably told that my profession causes kids to be assholes that at least in one case they were wrong thank you hey thanks for watching that call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.